this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for January the 25th. Today in 1533, Henry VIII got married to Anne Boleyn in secret. She was already pregnant with Elizabeth, and the ceremony took place in the middle of the night just before dawn at Whitehall. There were only about four or five witnesses, mostly Henry's close friends. The marriage was kept in the strictest of secrecy because Henry, of course, did not have permission from the Pope to remarry. Dr. Roland Lee was likely the officiant, and the story goes that he pressed Henry to know whether he had received a license from the Pope to remarry. Henry told him that he had, and when asked to produce it, Henry said he had it in a very secret place. He could go get it, but it was almost dawn, and he really wanted to take care of this now, so let's just get on with it. He said that he wanted to marry in secret to avoid the scandal that would surely ensue, and so Dr. Lee went ahead with the ceremony. Now, some historians have argued that Dr. Lee and Henry were play-acting during this ceremony, pretending in this elaborate game that made it seem as if the Pope had approved and Dr. Lee was pressing him about it, when of course he didn't. And that was to add to the legitimacy of the ceremony later on when it became public. The marriage was so secret that Cranmer didn't even know about it until at least two weeks later, and the imperial ambassador Eustace Shapwees was still writing letters in March talking about rumors of an Easter wedding. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.